Caleb here with Sigurd Photography, and today we're going to be doing the very first episode in a new series that is just going to be sprinkled in, here and there, of driving down Route 66. I hope you guys enjoy. The first stop that we're going to be going to is Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma. Okay, so I decided to take you guys down the historic Route 66 through Arcadia, Oklahoma to the neon 66 foot tall soda bottle in front of Pops. Whether you need to stop for gas or looking for a bite to eat, or even if you want to try one of their 700 varieties of bottled sodas, uh, Pops is actually the perfect stop. It is right down the road from Lake Arcadia, which I'll leave the video card up in the top right corner. Yeah, top right. Um, so I actually went with my girlfriend to Pops this time because she had never been. Um, we enjoyed the restaurant. Uh, burgers and fries. They also have breakfast to sandwiches, desserts. While you're waiting for a table, take time to explore the 700 types of soda line the walls from floor to ceiling. If you're feeling adventurous, uh, I would definitely try the beef drinkers teriyaki beef jerky soda or the grass flavored soda. My little brother actually tried the beef jerky soda the one time we went together and it was not great, but you know, if that's what you're into, you can try that but if you uh, don't want to go too far into your soda adventure pops also offers classics such as 80 different varieties of root beer um, once you're full you definitely have to take the um, iconic picture in front of pops um, that it seems like everyone in Oklahoma has done so we're about to go inside and that's just a picture of all of the soda bottles they have on display those are not free drinking um but you definitely you can sit at these tables and the light coming through those soda glasses is just beautiful uh so beautiful it's actually in the um intro video so if you've seen that and like ooh, what's that it's from pops so here's me and her going to go take the picture um this unusual site was established in by the late Aubrey McLennan, the former CEO of Chesapeake Energy Corporation. Uh, Pops was built in 2007 right down the road from the historic Round Barn. Here's another fun fact while we're talking about Pops. <clears throat> um, many believe that this attraction was named Pops because of, well, all the pop, but it was actually named after McLennan's father who he affectionately called Pops. Uh, Pops imports 13 different countries for, from 13 different countries including many European countries Brazil, Canada, Jamaica, uh, Mexico, and Lebanon. Some of these varieties can be found closer to home. A good selection of house blends can also be found um, many which are sold locally. While Pops has a flair for the foreign and bizarre, for those seeking a bit of childhood comfort there are also many older varieties that no longer exist. Uh, anywhere else so there's actually like a peach knee high that my mom used to drink whenever she would go fishing with my grandpa and you can only find the glass bottles of the peach knee high here or as far as I know everywhere else is plastic bottles and I'll admit I've tried both of them and they do taste different versus uh, plastic versus glass but yeah so the soda pop changes colors you can, you can see other people taking pictures of it but yeah, so I'm going to turn on some music and we will drive away from this beautiful site. Um, fun fact, the round barn that I mentioned earlier, we're also going to make have a video on that. But, you know, just a sneak peek. The round barn was built round to because the builder thought, hey, there's a lot of tornadoes in Oklahoma. Maybe if I build it round, the wind, you know it won't hit a flat side of a barn and maybe it won't get destroyed well it turns out that that's not how wind works but you know it made for a cool attraction so I will see you guys next week
that was Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys on Monday for Minecraft Mondays. Okay, if you push this circle right here, you'll subscribe to my channel, and if you push this one right here, it'll take you to the previous hike, and then this one right here will take you to the full uh, playlist of all the Oklahoma hikes.